Regardless of carb design, they all have the same purpose, to control the amount of air and fuel entering the engine. Before I can show you how that works, we have to look at how fuel gets to the carb in the first place, starting at the petrol pump. In North America, we call these gas pumps, and it's where fuel comes from if you don't have your own on-site bulk tank. According to the owner's manual, Kohler engines require clean, fresh, unleaded gasoline that contains no more than 10% ethanol and isn't more than 30 days old. When fuel is being stored, it needs to remain in a sealed container. But fuel tanks need to be vented in order to work properly. Pressure in the fuel tank escapes through a simple vented cap or a more complex system called evaporative emissions. Capturing evaporative emissions means preventing fuel vapor from directly venting to atmosphere. A hose from the fuel tank is connected to the low vacuum side of the air intake, where fuel vapor can be consumed during the combustion process. A charcoal canister and rollover valve may be used in the vent line to prevent liquid fuel from overwhelming the system. Fuel can't get out of the tank if air can't get in, a concept that can be seen with a drink straw. The evaporative emission system is designed to serve both functions, preventing excess vacuum or pressure in the fuel tank. 